Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. It's uh, Tuesday, of course it is. Hope you had an incredible uh, celebration and a long weekend for the, what was it, Labor Day weekend, right? Did you labor? I did. Hi, Harry. Hello, Rosa. So this weekend, it was a labor weekend for me. It's so good to do something proactive and exercising. So I don't know what you did. I know so many people went to the ocean, went to the beach and picnic and family get togethers and barbecue. But uh, hi, honey. So what I did was I have such an incredible thing to talk about today. It's um, about what we do in life and the choices that we make. Hi, Dave. Um, so after 18 years of doing the work that I'm doing in the healing world, which is hypnotherapy, stress management, what most people don't know lately, and so many of the people, my clients knew me is that I used to do massage. And for 18 years, I've done clinical massage therapy. And why do I call it clinical? Because it was more than just a massage. It was working with pain. It was releasing trauma. Because approximately 11 years, 12 years ago, I added, incorporated hypnosis with my massage. And what I used to do was something that I called a hypnomassage. Now, what hypnomassage did was to release pain and to release trauma and blocks, emotional blocks that we were holding in our body. And if there was a client with so much pain that no one could figure out what was going on, that's what I used to do. Not only they would relax in mind and body, but also release a lot of emotional trauma and pain. And today's session is going to be transitions, transitions that we make in life. And I want to know what transitions have you made in your life? So before I go further, if you are old enough or old as enough there used to be a commercial it was by montgomery words and it would come on during the holidays and this commercial was so amazing it was the husband driving the wife to the mall and she would hurry to get to Montgomery Wards and she would run in front of the door and go open 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 well why am I saying that because so many times in life we rush to get to something and realize that the doors or the opportunity is not ready for you and you keep standing in front of that door. And although Montgomery Words closed, I had clients that came in with the same expectation of open, open, open. And they would rush, they would push. And you know, when we push against something that um, is hard, it either resists back or it's going to fall and you go through it. But when there is a resistance, how about we sit back or take a step back and just allow things to fall into place or to flow? When we do this open, open, I've shared this with so many clients, is realizing that store closed and it's it's about time you stop saying open and banging on a closed door or an opportunity when you can turn around 
and look at the other end or even the side or next door in the mall, the same mall, and see Bloomingdale's, see Macy's, see Nordstrom's. That means sometimes when something closes, and even though we wanted it so much, we have to allow it to go away in order for us to go shopping or go to a new place. It's the same thing as they say, when a door closes, a window opens. But it's up to us to look through the window and see the beauty on the other side. In psychology, they say, if there was a wall, a huge wall, and you're standing behind this wall, what do you imagine at the other side of the wall? So that's my question. What do you imagine the other side of the wall if you happen to have anxiety, blocks, and you feel no matter what you are doing, there is a resistance? And the reason I brought all this up is because this weekend, this coming weekend, so many of you know, I am starting a whole new journey with incredible, powerful, amazing human beings that have stepped up and said yes as my board of directors, for we have launched our nonprofit organization for children who have lost their mother to unforeseen or unfortunate circumstances. And the reason I'm celebrating it and this weekend will, Friday, will be the last time that I will do a massage in my office is because this room, this weekend, I labored, I painted, we are changing, we are transforming that room to become the group room and the healing room for the children to come. So why am I excited about this? is because I'm letting go of a part of what I have done for 18 years, hands-on, working, healing. And today is the most exciting thing to say, I am releasing it, not open, open, but to allow it, to release it, and to let it go so these hands can help another, uh, another human being, maybe two little hands and a group of little hands. And we do something completely different. So my question to you is, it's like one of the questions I also ask on Facebook. What are the blocks when you come to a resistance. What are the most unexpected things that happened in your life that sometimes some people go to work and they are miserable and yet they stay at their job? You know, sometimes it's the most unfortunate thing that we think it's awful happens, but it's those that take us into a different path to realize, oh wow, the other side of this wall is pasture. The other side of this wall is beauty, is a whole new pathway. And sometimes that wall that we think it's concrete, it's hard, what if we close our eyes? And just imagine that wall being brick wall. And you can just magically go and extend your hand and take one break out. And that is the beginning. Just like Legos. And you take another brick out. 
And then you can easily put your hand through. And if you can put your hand through this and through that brick wall, you can see. You can see the other side. You can see what opportunities lay before you. You can see and imagine and create all the things that you want. So in life, it starts with a spark, a thought, an idea. Hey, Einstein created the light bulb and electricity and everything. Math, numbers, everything is by an idea, right? So my idea, where I started, and come September next week, it's going to be celebration after celebration, celebration after celebration. I'm going to be giving so many gifts away. It's incredible. I'm excited, and I don't know about you, but I want you to feel my excitement because it will be two decades of me doing this work. From letting go of working in the law firm, and I had no choice. Uh, if it was not because of my body breaking down and having carpal tunnel and having the third cyst, I would have never gone to an acupuncturist. He would have never given me a piece of paper saying, did you know that hypnotherapy works with ovarian cysts? I would have never found Patricia Burbank in Pasadena for her to do the hypnotherapy. And in four to five sessions, releasing and letting go of ovarian cysts. And since then, knock on wood, have not had a single feminine issues, no female issues. And that was what took me on the journey that I went to school, got my certification and said goodbye to law. What I like to call it, I now help my clients in a more feminine way versus the masculine way. Not that law is masculine. It's a lot of beauty, but it's the work that I do. It's that energy, the balance. Um, some call me tomboy, but this feminine energy of doing massage, the ephralage and petrosage, and I, I got to tell you, it has given me so many gifts, learning how to do massage after I got out of school. I met so many incredible people. For 10 years, We Heal Within had the contract, the sole contract for Glendale Hilton from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. We were on call. I had a crew of five people working with me on call. And it was absolutely amazing. And five years ago, it dwindled down, but I kept the massage and the hypno massage until this week. And now we transition. And I like to call the word transition because there is nothing that ends, but it just transforms and we flow into a whole new place. So as you leave one work, you are fired from one place or you are transitioning from one relationship to another or to nothing. If there is a breakup, if there is a divorce, if there is a being fired, I love those times. We call them lessons. What is the lesson? Every aspect of our relationships, either at work, personally, or professionally, is a lesson for us to learn or the lesson that we were instrumental someone else or something else to flourish. And sometimes we don't feel the benefit. We don't see it. We see only the negativity. But someone else has benefited. And maybe they needed more than you did. So allow 
yourself to sit back. Mm. Breathe into your abdominal. And as you do, I want to complete what I started saying. Before I started doing massage, I was very picky about body. Um, I'm still picky about hair, but picky about body had to be like this, the body had to be like that. Until I got to become a massage therapist and doing the work for healing. And I've seen all kinds of bodies from thin to the most incredible chiseled bodies working on sports person i've massaged someone who was an nba uh, player i have massaged the most obese i have done medical massage and uh, lymphatic massage on cancer patients and so the gamut of the hypno massage that I used to do to heal and work, even with cancer patients or people with a lot of trauma coming from domestic abuse and holding on to a lot of anger and fear in their body. I got to learn that the acceptance of the human being is far greater than the body. For the body is just a housing, it's just a shield. And that is what I teach when we do body image work and self-esteem work with my clients is come to appreciate and accept yourself for who you are. Because this body can change, the beauty can go, um, breasts that have been inflated can burst, you know? But who you are, enhance that. And if we do this, it doesn't matter. Because the most rich, the richness of a human being, although dollars and millions make it easy, there is not enough you can spend in one day to buy self-pride. So I hope this message makes an impact on you. And if it is something that you realize coming to a wall, a block, resisting a change, allow the flow. Allow yourself, just open your hand and allow the energy of the universe and if whatever it is that you trust, literally send it up, ask for guidance, ask for support. And if I can be a support to you, and help you, guide you, and hold your hand, I'm here. So as I transition to helping motherless children, and yes, I'm still doing my hypnotherapy and stress management for companies and organizations, I am still speaking to transform. I welcome the change. I welcome the transition and whatever it is, the cobblestones that sometimes we have to step on. And I love cobblestones because it brings, oh well, when we think about cobblestones, it's either beachside, it's France, it's unique. And it doesn't say it's asphalt that burns, but it's just a whole different version of another pathway.
every day, in every way. Appreciate and accept yourself far more deeply than ever before. And think, be, and recreate the best in you. So today and next week, 20 years of doing this work, I am grateful for the opportunity, the stamina, the strength, and every, I thank God every day that I have the ability to stand up. And I've had the ability to do massage, give and receive. And in this way, I want you to know every single person you touch with a smile, with a handshake, with a hug. You give as much as you receive. And be grateful for that. God bless you. And always know that you are surrounded with white light. So I was told, how come I keep forgetting? Well, my front desk person told me, and in your closing, always remember to remind everyone that every single session, all my Heal Talk Tuesdays are on my YouTube. A year and a half of all our Heal Talk Tuesdays are and have been downloaded on YouTube. You can just click and find out. Uh, just go to YouTube, go Heal Talk Tuesdays or Lisa Bubari, and you can find every single episode for the last year and a half on YouTube, each one with a different message. And today's message was allow and give yourself permission to open doors, open windows, turn around and look for better opportunities in life. And there are no blocks and walls when you are ready to dismantle them and to a point that if you want to safeguard yourself and you're not sure of it, turn that wall into a beautiful net you can see through and yet there is this fine line between you and what you are not ready to take everything down. I hope that helps. And as Anthony Rodriguez would say, aho. And in yoga, namaste. And with how I like to close it, is God bless you. May the universal light be with you. And it's time to heal within. You can always reach out to me. Call me, PM me, and I look forward to help you transform whatever it is you are ready. Change begins when you are ready. Until next week, talk to you soon.